What's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Sometimes things just work out like that or like us finally getting a hands-on look at air power, uh, which is crazy because all of these were supposed to be destroyed and it's pretty clear after seeing this hands-on video kind of why it was destroyed and failed in the first place. Foldable iPhone news, listen, I don't care. Uh, about this at all. Like I am a, I'm a pretty big Apple fan. I do not care about a folding iPhone. I know there's gonna be you guys in the comments. It's foldable. It, it moves. Did we mention that it folds? Yeah, so does cheese. Cheese also folds and you don't see people being like, wow, cheese is the greatest next innovation. No, it's stupid, all right? Folding stuff is stupid. And uh, we're gonna talk about that anyway today. Much more practical than that, a look at an updated camera design for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, first of all, uh, a moment of silence for this person or whoever gave this person air power because this product was supposed to be destroyed in its entirety. No one in the world is supposed to have it and uh, this person got it. So let's take a look at this video. Like they literally made like a like a comparable YouTube video to what I do. Probably better, uh, because they got an unreleased product and hey, I'm just sitting here talking about it. We all know AirPower was Apple's wireless charger. It's apparently coming back this year, um, which is pretty cool. Like Apple's actually re-engineering it to be a little bit more simpler because you'll start to notice right off the bat that they got a little excited with the first AirPower prototype. Like not only do they have moldings from a keyboard looking area, they have super complex circuitry in here and underneath all of it is, is what the problem was. Now the, the problem's been rumored for a long time, just like we've seen it or we've heard it, but now we, we can literally look at it with our own eyes. The, the issue was heat. When you would place a phone on here, the thing would get too hot. Why? Uh, do you see how many overlapped wireless charging coils there are? <laughs> like in the iPhone, there's one of these uh, on the back and it gets a little bit warm, but when you've got stacked, stack, stack on top and then maybe another layer on that. Like the idea was great to be able to put stuff anywhere, but uh, it didn't it didn't pass Apple standards, which is what caused the product to be canceled in, entire, in its entirety. And there was a lot of speculation about the pricing. And um, I, I'm saying this is like a $250 mat, the way this was designed. Like all of this copper alone costs a lot of money. You've got these coils in here. There's a lot of them and you've got the keyboard aluminum, and you've got all the circuitry, plus you've got like an Apple A series processor inside. Uh, not to mention that it looked great. Now you're probably wondering why is it not white? Uh, this is a torn down version, so it's not gonna look like crisp, like out of the box for Apple's marketing. I mean, I'm just happy we finally got to see air power in like a torn down version too, not even just like another hands-on video like a bunch of bloggers got at the initial event. What's that? You're wondering something that I hope we never see at an Apple event? Well, I can tell you right now, it's a folding mother trucking, mother trucking iPhone. Okay. Let me talk about this a little bit more in depth because you guys don't seem to get the point here. This is an iPhone with one display. And when I pick it up, it fits in my hand great. Now, if I get another iPhone, I'm gonna have two iPhones in my hand essentially. Plus I'm gonna have a screen over here. And, uh, and that's exactly according to the latest report from John Prosser about Apple's continued work on a foldable iPhone. Now people are losing their minds over the Samsung Galaxy Fold. And listen, it looks like a pretty good phone. I think it's nice. Do I think it's ready for the mass market? No, I don't think anyone cares or, or gets that much added benefit because the whole argument is like, all right, maybe, maybe I'm being stubborn because it's a new piece of technology and I just don't agree. I mean, you saw that with the smartphone. Everybody's like, why do I need the internet on my phone when I can get it on my computer at home? And then the smartphones exploded. I just don't think the fold adds value for something twice the thickness of a normal phone. Now, listen, if you're saying I can stretch my phone, Okay, that's a totally different story. It just doesn't appeal to me that much. Maybe it'll change my mind when I actually get one, but apparently it's gonna have stainless steel around the edges. It's going to have two displays that are like separated, but go together seamlessly whenever you're using some kind of cloth-ish hinge that was actually leaked in a patent as well. While it's closed, there's also gonna be a display on the front and there's no notch, but apparently like a, a little like black square at the top, which is where Face ID is gonna be housed. So it'll be when you pick up your phone, face ID, then you open it and it's unlocked. Um, we have literally no idea when this is coming. If this comes at all, and I'm saying that if this actually makes it out and, and Apple is like, oh, maybe the folds aren't a fad because I think they are absolutely in the fad phase right now. I don't know, two to three years at the 
earliest uh, two years, I'd say maybe even more realistic to four or five. But for right now, I'm feeling pretty good about this take. What do you think? Do you like foldable phones? Will you buy a foldable iPhone? Much more practical than that is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is, you know, coming out apparently in October or more likely November for the Pro series. But the 12 in general, it's dropping in October based off of everything we know right now. But we've had some questions about some big features. 120 hertz. Is it coming? Please tell me it's coming. Don't really wanna buy another phone without 120 hertz, Apple. Please just, just make it come. Just make it, I can't say that again, but please make the phone arrive. A smaller notch also apparently not coming uh, based off of these <coughs> latest reports that we've heard. So what is a feature that we can actually count on? That is a LiDAR sensor. Now, is this coming to both 12 Pros? We don't exactly know. It seems like it could actually be reserved for Apple's highest end model the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this isn't actually the first time we've seen the LiDAR sensor. If you follow Apple stuff kind of closely, you know we've seen it for sure on the iPad Pro. And like, I literally have this iPad. Do I ever use the LiDAR sensor? No, um, I don't really use it. If I ever need to measure something, it's really good at that. But um, I don't need to measure things often. Maybe when I move in a place, whenever this whole virus thing ends and I can stop living at home with my parents, even though it is nice. Um, love you, mom and dad. Thank you for the free housing. You're the best. Maybe I'll start measuring stuff then. But right now, it's just so niche and we haven't really seen what it can do. But Apple, you know, 120 hertz and the notch can go away, but they are committed to bringing this LiDAR sensor. And uh, it just makes me a bit sad, quite honestly, because there's so many other features that Apple could have put their development into. And like, it still kind of goes back to their AR thing. They're still, you know, they're still riding on this promise of, of augmented reality being so big and so huge. And the only thing I'm seeing is a big, huge disappointment right now. But hey, I guess they've got better 2020 vision than we did to see what was happening this year. If we take a closer look at it, it looks essentially like the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max's setup, but there is a new circle down here. It's right below the, the camera ends to the right. I think it's the ultra wide angle, could also be the telephoto that it's gonna sit below. So they've essentially moved where the microphone was that was dead center. They've moved it over to the right just a little bit and then now sort of squashed in there. But what looks actually quite normal and, and actually like there is some feng shui. I think the placement actually looks really good. Uh, it doesn't make me feel as weird as I did about the triple camera setup last year, but also wanna highlight the fact that we still haven't seen the final design for these 12s yet. Like never this late as it happened. Every single year in June or July, we see the CAD models, like the final designs leak. Guys, we haven't seen that yet. Like I'm still making videos about a product that we, we don't know what it looks like yet, which I'm telling you is very out of the ordinary, very insane. I don't know if Apple's paying people to not leak the final design and it's gonna be a big surprise or something. I don't know if I'm just like promoting some insane conspiracy theory at this point, but I do find it odd that like the design is, is reportedly done. Like Apple's finally got it figured out, but we haven't seen it yet. Nobody's gotten their hands on the new design. So we'll wait with uh, great excitement to see what that is. But the LiDAR sensor does appear to have made the cut based off of this latest image. And those are the latest stories. Hope you enjoyed them. Love to hear your thoughts and everything down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this one. Hit subscribe for more. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Love you. Thanks for watching my vids. It's pretty cool. Stay safe out there, wear your mask, and uh, peace out. See you in my next video.